Brian Chef from iatrend.ca.za and today we're going to be discussing something really awesome which is our South African Z-Wave plug which uh, is really nice because not only is it an on off plug but it can be used as a dimmer as well um, and how does that work I'll show you very quickly uh, besides like, aesthetically you can see it's quite a well made nice looking device um, on the top here you can see that's the button that you would use uh, firstly to exclude it and include it on uh, on your hub and also if you just manually ever want to turn the plug off without having to turn your mains off at the switch you would just push that and that will turn it on and off but I'll just show you that to you in, bit, um, in the next part of this video now and uh, the other thing I wanted to show you obviously what's nice about this is it casts are approved for South Africa which is a really nice feature but besides that on the bottom I mentioned earlier that this can be a dimmer or it can be a switch. So all you have to do is on the bottom there, I don't know if you can see that, but you flick it over, you can make it into a dimmer, or you can switch it back and include it as a switch. Now, the catch with that is, is that you can't include it simultaneously as both a dimmer and both a switch, meaning that the first time when you include it or exclude it, uh, you would need to add it as either a dimmer or a switch. So I would plug it in, make sure that it's on switch mode. And if I want to plug in my heater into this device, I can just say, okay, I'll call the plug heater, and boom, on off, and it turns my oil heat on, as an example. But if I wanted to make it for a dimmer for a lamp, um, if, and not just on off, then I'll have to switch it over to dimmer, and include it, and you'll see it'll come up automatically as a dimmer, and then I can program it to dim my lights all the way from zero to 100%. So that's a really nice and neat feature. What I've done is I've got another plug already plugged in here, uh, just to show you what it looks like when you triple tap the button on the top here to make it include, and um, obviously to show you how to do it on and off. And then the next stage of the video, we'll go into the mobile app, um, the Z-Wave um, app, and then you'll be able to see quite clearly um, how to include it through there. So without further ado, here's the, obviously the light plugged into this plug here. If I wanted to start the inclusion process, it's plugged in and it's on. Boom, tap it three times, and you'll see there's a blue light on the top of it that's going to start flashing, and now it's an inclusion. And the same thing if I ever wanted to exclude, exclude the device, tap it three times, and you'll see the blue light will flash a bit and show that it's included all night. This has already been included, so that's why it might not flash as much. But if I tap it once, now you can see the plug is on. And if I tap it again, now the plug is off. And obviously whatever device is plugged in or any appliance will turn on and off as per usual with that. Um, hope that was quite useful. Let's go into the mobile app on how to pair and include this device. Okay, great. So now we're looking at my cell phone screen at the moment and I'm going to go into MCAM View Z Plus, which is the application that comes with the Star Media Hub. And I'm going to click onto the hub itself. I'm going to click onto device. Now, before I continue, I've now got that Remotech plug sitting next to me here. And underneath, I've put it onto as a dimmer. So I showed you that switch earlier. I want to include this device as a dimmer, and I wanted to show you how that, um, how that works. And what I like to do generally is to always exclude the device first because sometimes your devices need to be excluded in order to be included. So without having to waste time, if it doesn't work, I always just do the exclusion process first. So here we go. I'm going to push the minus or to remove a device. I'm going to go down to Remotech. You can see what's nice is when it's a company that's affiliated with um, Star Vija, they added onto the application and you can actually see a picture so there it is at the bottom did I hear the beep yes I did now I'm going to activate the exclusion process by pressing three times on top of the plug there you go this we this z-wave device does not exist now okay so now I know when I'm going to add it back in a couple of seconds I shouldn't have any issues at all so let's do the same process now just to let you know if you don't see um, the company name of your device, and for instance here it says Remotech, you can always just go to other Z-Wave devices and it does the same process. So yes, trigger the device. 
there, there's a small little beep that means that it has found the device. And there you go. Now the device is registered as a light dimmer, uh, which is which is obviously what we uh, we included it to be. And I'm just going to call this light one. Okay. So now if I go down to the bottom of my list, you can see there's light one, and that's the dimmer. If I click on it, I can set the level of of brightness. If I've got a lamp, for instance, turned into it. And uh, yeah, and then remotely be able to control that light and set how bright and dim it is. So I can say okay, so now the light will change to 70%. If I just wanted to turn it on and off, I'll just say off. And now the plug goes to, well the dimmer goes off and the plug, the blue light on the plug also goes off. If I wanted to do that manually, I could just tap the plug in and it'll turn it back onto the previous brightness setting which is really great which is also really nice if you have something like an and like an Amazon Alexa and um, you would be able to voice command your plug and say um, Alexa turn on light one as an example and it would turn it on and you can say Alexa change light one brightness to 50 percent and it'll do that all via voice activation so that's really how to include this device and all the ins and outs of it and I uh, hope you found that useful Okay, well, thanks for watching our video um, about this Remo Tech plug. We think it's a really great, great product, uh, especially for the South African market. And as I said earlier, you know, I can't show you me using the app and recording with my phone simultaneously, but it is paired, oh, well, it is included now. And you can see if I press it, the blue light does turn on. And obviously if I press it again, you'll see the blue light turns off. And I can do that with my mobile phone. Uh, the next video will actually show you using the phone to control a whole bunch of devices and, and turning things on and off and dimming. So looking forward to that. If you want to find out any further information, please go visit www.iotrend.ca today. You'll be able to see all of our products there, videos linked to those products and a lot of useful information.